trash came late today. Normally trash comes at like four in the morning. It didn't come until uh, this afternoon. Hi everybody, welcome to Wednesday. Um, today started with some necessary cleanup. There, have, there has been uh, a bunch of stuff in the garage and we had a professional person come take it away. Someone with a trailer, like an open trailer. Yeah, so that was good. Uh, there's a lot less crap in the garage. There's just, there'd been stuff here that we moved with. Like for instance, we had an extra, um, like one of those Ikea shelves. Not the billies, but- Not a billy, the, but like one of the- pantry. Yeah, what had been our old pantry. Stuff that we've been moving around with since like we got married. And um, you know, when we moved in here, we didn't have any space for it. We didn't need it anyway. So it had been in the garage. And like, one thing I have to say about living here is that there are a lot of bugs. There are more bugs here than any other place we've lived by a factor of like 20. We don't deal with them inside at all. Uh, well. Is, well, we get like earwigs, but everyone down here, if you have a first floor, ground floor, you get earwigs. Yeah. But like the spiders out here have been bad, like in the garage. Oh yeah, we put out, um, we put out glue traps when we first moved in and each glue trap had like a hundred <laughs> spiders. So there were like hundreds, if not a thousand dead spiders just in the garage. And like we spray for spiders, like we do things that we need to do to try and like keep the, the bug population down. Um, it's just surprising how much there was. Anyway, a lot of stuff in the garage was gross. Like we had uh, been saving the box for the, uh, like the TV. Yeah. Cause we're like, oh, you know, eventually we'll move again someday trash truck and when we do it'll be easier to put it back in the original box but like it was it was disgusting I mean it was yeah. whew, uh, no 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 we will find a different way to transport the television um, I don't want to transport it that way we'd also save the box that our bed frame came in because purple had a return window and we didn't know if we'd like it and we did like it so we kept the but we didn't need the box anymore and yeah. it was out here where the bugs are yeah so anyway, um, that's done. I can move the car back into the garage now, but um, I know we don't really show the garage much on the vlog because we don't really have a reason to, but it's been, it hasn't been like a disaster, but there's been a few big things that I'm like, we're never going to use this. We need to get rid of this and uh, mouse set it all up. And today it's gone. Good job. Thanks. amazing absolutely amazing I didn't even know that like they would get up there and do that I've only ever seen them like on the ground or in the water yeah on a house. absolutely bizarre we're just taking a little walk before it's too dark to walk We've been busy, so we haven't had the time until just now. <laughs> Matt was like, is that goose on the roof? And I was like, I have never seen a goose on I mean, the roof, think but... Think about when you see Canadian geese. Yeah. Are they on roofs? Like, no. never. Like, no. sparrows or ravens or whatever? Maybe, but... Oh, it oh, they're... Are they fighting? Maybe. I can barely tell what's going on. The camera wouldn't be able to see. Yeah, I think one of them flew off the roof toward the one that was across the way, and they fought. Anyway, they're gone. <laughs> Another very exciting thing that is happening today. Uh, Holy Moly is back on the air. Uh, season four of Holy Moly is coming out on the, ta the, the television. ABC. The, the cable, but then also it's on Hulu, so we can watch it on Hulu. Um, I've already talked before about how we've watched all the previous seasons of Holy Moly, and I highly recommend it. It is a mix of Wipeout and Miniature Golf, 
and it's great. It's really great. Uh, and we're also enjoying some um, some Brussels sprouts. I cooked up some Brussels sprouts. We're making um, fish also, but the fish isn't done quite yet, so we're just enjoying this now. This is a good dinner. I wish I had bacon, but otherwise it's great. Look at this. This is a, a new type of salsa that we picked up when we were at the Costco. It's a mango salsa on some tilapia. I had a small bite of it yeah. and it was good. But well, you you love mango. Mango. Yeah. You've always absolutely loved mango. In fact, the other day when we went out and had that lunch, you had a mango roll. Yes. So, yeah, you've always liked that. So tilapia is kind of a blank slate fish. Like you just put on it whatever you want to to taste. I really like this. Hmm. Hmm. It's, um, I mean, as you would expect, because it is the nature of mango, it's very bright, you know, mm -hmm. like. Tropical. Mm-hmm. It's very different. I don't think I've ever had anything like this on fish. I've made tilapia with a mango salsa, like a homemade mango salsa before. Oh, yeah? But I think mine was too spicy and I didn't like it, but this is like ultra mild. Oh, it's not. It's, yeah, there's it's, no heat. It's to no. This. There's no heat. It's just kind of sweet. Hmm. That's but good. it's not also pure mango, you know, because mm -hmm. it has the tomatoes and stuff. Yeah, that's actually really good. I like that a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because uh, we're gonna finish up the holy moly, which is going good so far, and then I'm gonna finish up uh, a, a few more things before bed. But, uh, yeah, that was good. And I'm curious what else you can put mango sauce on. Hmm. Toast. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?